At the same time, they're looking at the administration of justice, and, and Hitler insists that the administration of justice should reflect Nazi racial ideology. And while they're arresting communists, some 20,000 in the time before the election in 33, um, the stormtroopers, the street thugs, the street fighters of the Nazi party are attacking courts. They're attacking courts all across Germany. This is Munich, 1933, March 10th. It's Dr. Michael Siegel, a prominent Munich attorney. Uh, he had heard that one of his clients had been arrested and taken to the police headquarters. He very sensibly went to police headquarters and asked, well, you know, what are the charges? What evidence is there of, these, uh, of this crime? And I'd like to speak to my client so that we can begin building the defense. The desk sergeant was very polite uh, and said, I'm sorry, sir, uh, you're wanted downstairs. And on the stairway, he's met by this troop of street fighters in the Nazi party. They beat him up. They perforate his eardrum. They knock out a couple of his teeth. Worse, uh, they rip his trousers and take his shoes and socks and parade him through the streets of Munich with a sign around his neck that says, I am a Jew, and I'll never again complain to the police. Right? It's clear that Nazis are sending a message. You can humiliate somebody in private, but to humiliate somebody in public means you want to send a message. And the message to the Jewish community is don't turn to the police for protection anymore. They're not there. You're not part of their constituency. That only really uh, racially acceptable Germans are entitled to the full protection of the law. To Aryan Germans, it says, you know, any kind of public affront you care to give to a Jew is fine. The police won't intervene to stop it. And to lawyers, it indicates that there's now an area of the criminal justice system over which it's dangerous to inquire. So be very careful of the questions that you ask of the police. Now, it'd be bad enough this is, if this were a singular event, but this is repeated in courts all across Germany. In Cologne, for example, um, they take a, a, a sitting superior court judge uh, from the superior court in Cologne and load him onto a garbage truck and haul him down to police headquarters in full view of the public. It's happening in Hamburg in northern Germany. It's happening in Berlin. It's happening in Breslau 